Hi, I'm Sean Gann, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about radical equations. We're going to solve each equation, but remember to check for extraneous solutions. So if I was given this equation, 10 equals the square root of m over 10. Well, first thing I need to get rid of is the square root. I'm going to square root. Uh, yeah, I'm going to square both sides. So by squaring both sides here. It eliminates the square root on the right, leaving with m over 10 here. And on the left, I have 10 squared, which is 100. I then see m divided by 10, get rid of that, opposite of uh, division and multiplication, I multiply both sides by 10, leaving me with 1,000. Equals just m, okay? So I have m equals 1,000, and we can write it nice and neat and write m first, m equals 1,000. Well, now I need to check that. So to check that, I'm going to take my original equation, 10 equals the square root of m over 10, and I'm going to plug 1,000 into it. So I have 10, this is my check, 10 equals the square root of 1,000 all over 10. Okay, 1,000 divided by 10 is 100, so I have 10 equals the square root of 100, and the square root of 100 is 10. And there we go. We checked, we saw that it was right, so we don't have an extraneous solution. So our final answer is m equals 1,000. So let's recap. We started with 10 equals the square root of m uh, over 10. I then squared both sides to eliminate the square root, leaving me with 100 equals m over 10. Then I multiply both sides by 10 to get m by itself, so I have 1,000 here equals m. Rewrote it to have m first, so it looks nice and neat, m equals 1,000. Then I checked. 10 equals, I took my original equation, I plug, uh, 10 equals square root of m over 10. I then plugged 1,000 in for m, and I started to just simplify, basically. Uh, 1,000 divided by 10 is 100, square root of 100 is 10, and they're equal on both sides, so we don't have a solution, this is a true answer. And so our final answer here is m equals 1,000.